Hello, my name is Hannah Pezzi. I am a scientist at Thermo Fisher Scientific, and I will be giving a product development update today on Thermo Fisher Scientific's new amplitude solution for COVID-19 testing. When the coronavirus outbreak began in late 2019, Thermo Fisher Scientific rapidly developed one of the first COVID-19 diagnostic tests, which is now scaled to manufacture 20 million tests per week. Thermo Fisher Scientific is working to apply its scale as the world leader in serving science to standardize and industrialize the manufacture of tests and testing platforms in a reliable and reproducible way to support the global need for testing at scale. We have the ability to manufacture up to 20 million tests, which we are currently approaching. Now, what does this mean? Globally, over half of all COVID-19 testing is currently being performed on Thermo Fisher Scientific instruments. We have rapidly increased our production of COVID-19 kits and continue to increase our manufacturing to 20 million reactions per week and beyond if needed. Laboratories have been constrained with supplies from reagents to consumables and instruments. The Thermo Fisher will provide an assured supply for your laboratory to ensure there are no concerns in your workflow and throughput. For COVID-19 testing, Thermo Fisher Scientific is vertically integrated. We are the single supplier and distributor for consumables, reagents, instruments, software, and 24-7 service and support for laboratories running or looking to run COVID testing. And what we are introducing today is the Amplitude Solution. While patient testing demand continues to increase as testing becomes more readily available, there are still most current options are, oop, I'm gonna restart that one. What we are introducing today is the Amplitude Solution. Patient testing demand continues to increase as testing becomes more readily available, but most current options are unable to process and supply reagents to the volumes that are needed to keep up with this demand. Current non-autonomous options result in an increase in the number of full-time employees, staffing overhead, and human-related errors that occur with more routine manual processes, and large number of instruments from multiple vendors are required to support these workflow. Third-party automation options are available, however, they include long lead times to scale and require large footprints within the clinical laboratories. The upcoming Thermo Fisher Scientific Amplitude COVID-19 testing solution is an automated molecular diagnostic testing system that can analyze over 7,000 specimens in a single day with the reliability and confidence of secured assay and reagent supply, along with 24-7 world-class service and support. Offering sample-to-result COVID-19 testing, the Amplitude solution requires minimal hands-on time, equipment, and staffing needs. Utilizing the Applied Biosystems TACPATH COVID-19 real-time PCR assay, which has consistently delivered superior sensitivity and specificity to the detection of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, the Amplitude solution can help laboratories quickly scale COVID-19 testing to the volumes needed to reduce the spread of diseases and help restore economies and communities. The Amplitude Solution delivers a number of key benefits to the clinical laboratory. The Amplitude Solution provides a secured supply source for consumables and reagents with a supply agreement. It provides reduced staffing needs by using only four full-time employees through a high throughput footprint with the ability to analyze over 7,000 COVID-19 samples in just 24 hours. The automation allows for minimal hands-on time for increased efficiency in sample processing while requiring minimal equipment when compared to manual alternatives. It utilizes a proven sensitive and specific COVID-19 testing assay and provides 24-7 support for helping guide you through any situation during these novel times. And ultimately, it provides a single source for providing everything you need, including all equipment, consumables, reagents, and 24-7 support. At a high level, the Amplitude Solution consists of two modules. The first module, or module one, is a TCAM Fluent 1080 liquid handler. And the second module, which consists of extraction through PCR setup and data analysis, is composed of a number of smaller pieces of equipment, which we will go through shortly. 
The workflow consists of the following steps. Sample accessioning, which requires receiving the sample tubes from the clinical site, which is then transferred into module one. Module one consists of the building of four 96 deep well plates, which are then transferred into module two for extraction and PCR setup. The output of module two is then a series of results, which are then provided back to the customer for reporting purposes. We'll now go through each of these steps in a little bit more detail. Sample accessioning consists of receiving tubes. Okay. I'm just gonna restart. Sample accessioning begins with the patient tube. So the clinical sample is received by the lab and this tube needs to be barcoded and decapped prior to be put on sample carrier racks, which are provided to the customer. These sample carrier racks will then be transferred into module one. The samples received into labs are required to be in the form of viral transport media or VTM and will integrate into the customer's own limb systems. So once these samples are received, they can be barcoded if they are not already barcoded and decapped prior to putting on the sample carriers, which are then transferred into module one. Once these samples are received and transferred onto module one and the provided sample carriers, the TCAM Fluent 1080 is going to transfer each of these samples into a deep well plate. The deep well plate will then also be filled with the reagents required for extraction. This includes binding buffer, beads, proteinase K, and MS2, our extraction control, to help track performance throughout the entire process. We similarly add negative control wells to ensure the extraction performs as expected. The built four 96 deep well plates will then be transferred into module two. Due to the addition of binding buffer and beads, during this step, the samples are further considered and activated due to the addition of the binding buffer. The generated four 96 deep well plates from module one are then loaded into module two. You'll see here the module two has a few more subsystems involved. Once those deep well plates are placed onto module two, they then go to the Kingfisher Prestos. Each 96 depot plate is extracted on a different Kingfisher Presto. Once extraction is completed and the nucleic acid has been extracted and isolated into a final depot plate, that elution depot plate is then transferred in the, to the TCAM Fluent 780, a liquid handler. The four depot plates are then generated and built into one 384 well PCR plate on the TCAM Fluent. Once the 384 well plate is built, it then is subsequently moved to a plate sealer for sealing and centrifuge for centrifugation prior to being placed on one of two Quant Studio 7 flexes on deck. RT-PCR then occurs within the Quant Studio flex and the results are generated. Once the results are completed, the sample result data is sent to Applied Biosystems COVID-19 interpreter software for final reporting. This gives a high level overview of what the Amplitude solution looks like from sample acquisition through module one and finally through result generation in module two. Now what I've had the opportunity to work on and contribute in, in this platform is really in the R&D testing. So I'll provide a brief overview of what the development that has gone on from the R&D side has looked like throughout the different phases of this project. Now, what it comes down to is a series of different testing phases from conception of the instrument through final clinical evaluation. And what you see here is really, we just went through many different layers of testing, looking at different test protocols and approaches to evaluating our instrument from basic subsystem testing through the full integration and clinical evaluation. And really what's highlighted here is just the sheer number of plates and number of samples that were processed in the development of the system and also the opportunity of this system due to its high throughput nature to generate this many results. Now, one of the subsystems that we evaluated are, sub are uh, so in generating a lot of this data, we broke our testing plan into what we called SIP phases or system integration plan. And I will walk through one of these system integration plans next. 
So while the previous slide showed at a high level the different types of phases we looked at, one of those phases we called SIP2 or System Integration Plan 2. And this plan really looked at generating data at different risk factors and characterizing the amplitude solution as it was being developed in kind of earlier feasibility. The system integration plan was not the execution of just one protocol, but many, many runs across a series of different tests, not only at one site, but at two of our sites at Thermo Fisher Scientific. To give you a high level overview of what was done, we looked at a series of different protocols or objectives within this testing plan, including cross-contamination to ensure that as we transition from our established manual EAA workflow to a more automated solution, we were not introducing any risk during our liquid handling that might result in cross-contamination. So we extensively looked in this to make sure the risk was well characterized and cross-contamination was not present. Similarly, we then looked at a quantitative metric of performance, again, evaluating against our established EUA protocol, looking at ranges of concentrations from very low to very high at 25 XLOD. We then branched out to focus more at the LOD level and really get a good picture of how our system was performing on multiple runs across multiple sites. And then we transitioned to not only looking at different concentrations to characterizing risk, but also looking at matrix variability and ensure that we were encompassing any matrix variability that might be encountered in the field during our testing phases with protocol four where we looked at hundreds of individual NP samples, all collected from different patients at different sites. And what we'll, I'll go into next is a closer look at what protocol two actually looked like from an R&D phase. Now protocol two was designed to give us a better picture of what was going on across a wider range of concentrations of spiked in COVID-19 inactivated virus. You can see in the lower left, the hundreds of sample tubes that were filled and prepared in order to be placed on module one, which again was a Fluent 1080T can. These samples were then transferred into those four 96 depot plates on module one, and then built into the resultant PCR plate you can see in the upper right on module two. And you can see the concentrations were designed such that they span the entire length of the plate to provide a closer look at what was going on at each step of the way. So what the results from protocol two established was that across multiple sites, we were able to meet the EUA performance and hit one XLOD with high confidence. Similarly, it established that we were able to perform at a similar level across each of these different concentrations, as well as at the zero XLOD level. And what most importantly this highlighted was the, just the number of samples and the throughput of the system that we were developing. So in addition to maintaining performance against the manual EUA, Amplitude truly gives us the opportunity to continue to support COVID-19 testing demands globally, but now in a high throughput system. And now I would like to thank you for your time and follow up with any questions.